Good morning. Uh, first, let me thank my colleagues who are here for joining us. We have our Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, uh, and I want to thank the Lieutenant Governor very much for all her good work. You'll hear from uh, County Executive Mark Poland cars after I make some opening remarks, then Mayor Byron Brown. I want to thank our majority leader, our new majority leader, Crystal People Stokes, for being here. Senator Tim Kennedy, Mayor Paul Deister, the New York State Thruway Authority Director, Matt Driscoll, uh, who is here and has uh, just finished a, a meeting on coordination of all resources. Uh, we have Troop A Major of the State Police, Ed Kennedy, who is with us, uh, and we have Lieutenant Colonel Sean Heffron from the New York National Guard, as well as the Director of the Emergency Management Office, Mike Hopi, uh, and I want to thank them all very much for being here. As everybody knows, uh, there is a major snowstorm that is on its way. Uh, it is a major storm. It's nothing to be trifled with. We're talking about potential snowfall of 11 to 15 inches uh, through tomorrow, but tomorrow we're talking about very cold uh, temperatures with a wind chill up to minus 15 degrees and high winds. Uh, when you put the snowfall together with the wind and with the uh, possibility of sub-zero temperatures, uh, it is a serious situation. We have deployed all of the state resources and thanks to uh, Crystal People Stokes and uh, Tim Kennedy. The state has more emergency resources than we've ever had before. This is not the first time we've gone through this situation, unfortunately. Extreme weather is here, uh, as we know. Uh, we're not looking at seven feet of snow. Uh, that's the good news. Uh, but we have more resources, more equipment, and it's being deployed. We have 1,600 Department of Transportation plows that will be out. The Thruway Authority will have about 300 pieces of equipment. National Guard has 450 personnel ready to deploy. Uh, statewide, about 5,000 personnel for plows and snow and emergency management. And the Public Service Commission, which is working with the utility companies because if we have the uh, extreme weather where we're forecasting and you have that wind chill and you have the snow, power outages become a real concern and getting the power on quickly becomes a real concern. Um, the, the snow is on its way and we are instituting a tractor trailer and bus Band starting 3 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, that chart has the routes in western New York that are affected. Uh, the main routes are going to be I-90, the Skyway, State Route 5, State Route 400, 219, 199, 290, but uh, the all truckers uh, and bus companies should be aware of that. It starts 3 o'clock this afternoon goes through Sunday. Uh, they have been given advance notice, and uh, we've done that purposefully so they can plan their operations. Uh, but we want to reinforce that that ban is going to be in effect, and we want to make sure no truckers get stranded and no bus companies get stranded, and they have prior notice for their service. Uh, I know Buffalo, and you hear snow, and someone from Buffalo once had a great line that I'll never forget. Uh, he said, I was born in a snowbank. So I know Buffalo knows how to handle snow. And uh, we've been through much uh, larger forecasts than 11 to 15 inches of snow. But this is nothing to be trifled with. You don't have a tremendous amount of snowfall forecasted. Uh, and believe it or not, sometimes the weather forecasts have been wrong. But you put the snow together with the temperature, together with the wind, and we have a serious situation. Uh, and again, if you do not need to be on the road 
people should not be on the road. Let us do the emergency operations. Let the emergency personnel get out there. Let the plows get out there. God forbid, let the ambulances uh, uh, and fire fighting equipment get out there. One stuck car on a road can back up everything. Uh, and uh, it's been amazing in my experience how one or two cars get stuck and you can close down an entire road and literally jeopardize people's lives. Uh, so the good news is it's over a weekend and it's a long weekend. Uh, and that will give us the opportunity to actually do what we have to do. We don't expect uh, any reason why a lot of people would be on the road given it's the weekend. But we'd also appreciate the thoughtfulness and the cooperation and the diligence of New Yorkers to keep all of us safe. We're going to have a lot of personnel out there uh, putting their lives on the line to keep us safe. Let's help make their job easier. With that, I'll turn it over to uh, County Executive Mark Polencars, and then you'll hear from uh, Mayor Byron Brown. Then we'll take your questions. Thank you. Thanks, Governor. Thank you, Governor, and it's always good to have you here in the town of Chicawaga in the County of Erie. Uh, as we uh, prepare for what Mother Nature and Jack Frost throws at us. Uh, the, the governor has always been there for us, and when, regardless of whatever the emergency is, whether it's a snowstorm or a flood, and I want to thank him uh, for the work that he does to ensure that we are prepared for whatever weather event that we have. Um, I know the lieutenant governor feels the same way, as she's always con contacting us to ensure that we have the resources necessary. Uh, as the governor noted, this is Buffalo. We know how to handle snow. Uh, today should be a, a generally a, a pretty good day, so we tell folks to get out there and have fun, because tomorrow might be actually pretty bad. We are very worried. Our Department of Health Commissioner reminds me continually to tell parents out there that the kids may want to go outside tomorrow, but when we're talking about minus 15 uh, wind chills or below in the hills in the southern part of Erie County and Cattaraugus County, they're talking about a minus 30 wind chill. Uh, that is a time that can inst or within 15 minutes you could have frostbite. So we're just asking everyone to exercise caution, do care. The kids may be a little uh, stir-crazy inside tomorrow, but don't let them outside because it actually could have a, a serious negative impact. Uh, we know how to handle snow here. We've got a great team. And with that, I, I do want to commend the, the folks from uh, the Department of Transportation, the Thruway Authority, our public works, our law enforcement, as well as those that are first responders, because when a lot of people are sleeping tonight, they're going to be out in the heavy snow. And they're going to be out working hard to ensure that the roads are clear tomorrow. And the governor's right And what we saw in the November 2014 storm is all it took was one or two cars and it backed up some of the largest routes that we had. The biggest problems we had weren't necessarily being able to keep up with the snow, even though it was seven feet of snow over three days. It was all it took was one vehicle to get stuck, a tractor trailer to jackknife, and it backed up everything and we couldn't get out there. So please exercise caution. Uh, we want to ensure that everyone has a wonderful weekend, especially considering it's Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. We want everyone to have a safe weekend. And if you don't need to be on the roads, especially later tonight, don't be on the roads. And tomorrow, once again, uh, please exercise caution in the bitter cold. And if you have children, get the board games out because it's not going to be time for them to be sledding. Let's wait uh, a few days for that. And then everyone will have a fun time and we'll be back to business ASAP. And I have a great partner in local government, and we work together, our departments of public works, emergency services, as well as our local law enforcement to ensure that we can keep our city open for all to enjoy. And that's Mayor Byron Brown, and I want to give him an opportunity to, to once again say the work that they're doing in the city to ensure that at the end of the day, when this storm's over with, it's just Buffalo and we know how to handle snow. So, thank you. Thank you, County Executive Poland Cars. Good morning, everyone. and. Uh, thank you very much, Governor Cuomo, for being with us today as we prepare for what is really uh, the first really large storm of the season for us here in Buffalo and Erie County. I want to thank the governor for the great team that he has put together to work with localities from our lieutenant governor to uh, Matt Driscoll at the Thruway Authority, uh, and the Department of Transportation, all of the folks that work with local governments to make sure that there is great coordination to deal with storms or any serious weather event uh, that comes our way. 
Um, I can tell you that in the lead up to this storm, uh, there has been a lot of communication, uh, coordination uh, with the state, with the county, uh, with localities to talk about preparation for the storm. Uh, there have been regular conference calls, and I really thank Governor Cuomo for his leadership in putting that kind of process in place where we are all well coordinated and everybody knows how we can work together uh, to ensure the safety and the security of the residents of our community. Certainly, uh, that is the governor's priority. That's the priority of myself and County Executive Mark Polencar as Mayor Deister. I also thank um, our uh, state legislators, Majority Leader uh, Crystal People Stokes and State Senator Tim Kennedy uh, for being with us. They certainly are great assets to our community. We're very fortunate to have them. In the city of Buffalo, uh, the governor talked about the equipment that is available from the state should we need it. Uh, in the city, we have seven pieces of equipment uh, that are ready to roll and ready to address the snow. Uh, what we are asking is for people uh, to pay attention to uh, weather directives that come out through the media uh, from our municipalities. In the city of Buffalo, one very important thing is to pay attention uh, to uh, the street parking regulations. Uh, if people follow those regulations, we have well-trained crews that will get into side streets, that will get into uh, neighborhoods and make sure that the snow is moved uh, so people can go about their normal activities. Again, uh, today will be a day where people can pursue their normal activities. Tomorrow is going to be a tough day. Uh, high wind, chi uh, wind chill, uh, blowing snow. So we're asking people to really be mindful of, of, of that because our highest priority is people's safety and security. We don't want to see anyone uh, get injured. We don't want to see anybody get frostbite. Um, and so uh, please pay attention uh, to the fact that this is a serious storm and we shouldn't take it for granted. Again, I want to thank the governor for his leadership uh, and for the fact that when we are dealing with conditions like this, he is always here and always offering the resources of the state to make sure that the people of Buffalo, Erie County, and Western New York are protected. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. A final point, you know, we talk about government coordination, and it sounds like it would be common sense that governments would coordinate with each other. Uh, it is common sense, uh, but it is uh, very often uh, not happened in the past, and it's not happened well. Uh, and we're blessed here with the county executive and the mayor in the state. We're talking about thousands of personnel. We're talking about hundreds of pieces of equipment. And when we can come up with a coordinated game plan on how to deploy the equipment, how to deploy the personnel, it makes uh, all of us more efficient and more effective uh, in serving the people. And I want to thank the mayor and I want to thank the county executive and their teams because we have been planning this for days. We have done it before, uh, and I think one of the reasons the, the response has been more effective than it's been uh, in previous years is because of the county executive and the mayor uh, and their leadership and uh, coordination. So on, on a personal level, uh, I want to thank them. This is, uh, it takes a lot of hours, a lot of phone calls, a lot of conference calls, uh, and it can be a, a, a real drain and a pain in the neck uh, but uh, they do it extraordinarily well, I want, and I want to thank them. Any questions for myself or any of my colleagues? A lot of salt, a lot of salt, enough to do like 8,000 hamburgers. We have how much salt? 123,000 tons. Say that number again? 123,000 tons. 123,000 tons of salt. That is a lot of salt.
Why don't you step yeah, up now? So those gates would be used on a full closure. We are not doing a full closure as the governor described. It is a uh, tractor trailer and bus ban. Uh, but we do have gates. They are able to be closed. They're done manually. We've run through this program all during the course of the summer. We're prepared to do that uh, with our partners at the state police and the National Guard uh, should that arise. The information that was provided by our Department of Health Commissioner yesterday is that uh, when you get down to minus 20 degrees, it could take 15 minutes and you could actually start having the effects of frostbite and not realize it. And if you're out there for a half hour or longer, uh, you will potentially cause damage. Uh, so as I said, uh, the Health Commissioner couldn't be here today, but she wanted me to reaffirm that uh, tomorrow is not a day for people to be outside unless you have to because of work or something like that. Kids definitely shouldn't be out. Make it an old time Sunday. Bring out the board games. Make hot chocolate inside. But if they're going outside thinking, hey, we got snow last night, let's build a snowman, uh, no, because they're actually putting the children at risk. The code blue is in effect uh, throughout uh, the city of Buffalo and Erie County. And I know uh, 211 is working with a number of agencies in the city of Buffalo, and we work with the Rural Outreach Center uh, in, the, in, the, in the suburban areas. Uh, it is my understanding that they are going to be taking people off the streets. Uh, we generally try to work with individuals and say there's a shelter available and we can take you to the shelter. Uh, but because of the, the severe nature of the cold that is going to be uh, starting tonight and through Sunday, uh, if individuals are refusing it, we are, we are going to do our best to ensure that they end up in a shelter so they do not freeze to death, which could happen when you have temperatures. Mayor, you want to talk about the city? Yeah, all of the uh, city code blue facilities will be open. Code blue is in effect, like the county executive said. And in the city as well, there will be efforts to uh, get people off the street and into a warm shelter for, for their safety. I will, I will also say, because of the uh, very hazardous temperatures that are expected tomorrow, people should also uh, be mindful of the needs of their pets. So if you're out walking your dog, you've got to be really careful about the health of your, your, your pet uh, tomorrow as well. So that is why we've given them plenty of advance notice to go ahead and plan that out. And we did that, by the way, in conjunction with the Motor Truck Association, who has broadcast the message. So as the governor said, uh, the protocol begins at 3 o'clock today. It will be enforced by the state troopers. Uh, and we will make a determination through tomorrow uh, when that ban will be lifted. I want to emphasize tomorrow, as has been emphasized here, tomorrow is going to be very uh, windy. And that creates problems because this snow is not going to have a lot of moisture in it. And so it's going to be very blowy conditions. Uh, visibility is going to be a real issue. Uh, and so that's another reason why we're going to determine when the best time to lift that restriction will be through tomorrow. OK. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you to my colleagues. Thank you, Governor. Always. Stay safe. Thank you, Governor. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you.